Hello and welcome to this video on acid-base definitions. My name is Eric Kim and in this video we'll identify the characteristics of Lewis acids and bases. We've discussed in other videos the definitions of Arrhenius and Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases and the movement of protons is often more in line with how one would view an acid and base. Lewis acids and bases, however, are conceptually a bit tougher to visualize, so let's break this down step by step. Lewis acids and bases are all about the movement of electrons and to remind me, I think Lewis electrons. A Lewis acid has an empty orbital and will be able to receive electrons. A Lewis base has a pair of electrons and will be able to donate it to a Lewis acid. Since we're thinking about the movement of electrons and we're not limited to hydrogen ions in aqueous solutions, the Lewis acid and base definition is the most encompassing out of all three acid base definitions. In fact, since all acid base reactions involve the movement of electrons, all Arrhenius and Bronsted Lowry acids and bases can also be called Lewis acids and bases. In Lewis acid base reactions, we're donating electrons to form coordinate covalent bonds, otherwise known as dative covalent bonds. Coordinate or dative just means that both electrons forming the bond is coming from one molecule rather than both molecules equally contributing to the bonds, which is entirely in line with our Lewis definition. In our example at the bottom, trifluoroboran has an empty p orbital and the ammonia has a lone pair on the nitrogen. Ammonia will act as a Lewis base and donate its lone pairs of electrons to boron to form the coordinate covalent bond. Notice the lack of hydrogen movement. Trifluoroboron could not be considered an Arrhenius or Bronsted-Lowry acid since it has no hydrogens to donate, but it's definitely a Lewis acid. The supply question is asking us to identify the Lewis acid and base in the below reaction. The reaction is actually the second step of an SN1 reaction, which you may or may not have covered yet in your studies. It's not necessary to have that background information since we're only using the reaction to illustrate Lewis acids and bases. Remember the criteria: A Lewis acid must have an empty orbital to accept electrons. A Lewis base has lone pairs of electrons to donate. The movement of electrons will form a coordinate covalent bond. The first molecule is a carbocation formed by a carbon in the middle with three bonds to three methyl groups. Recall that carbon has four sp3 hybridized orbitals, three of which are occupied by bonds to methyl groups. This leaves one orbital free which means that the carbocation is our Lewis acid. Next we have water where the central oxygen has two bonds to hydrogen and two sets of lone pairs. A lone pair from the oxygen will be donated to the carbocation to form a coordinate covalent bond between the oxygen and the carbocation to form our product, which is an alcohol. That means that water is our Lewis base. This particular reaction is a bit different from the earlier one involving trifluoroboron and ammonia. In the process of forming the covalent bond, the water will kick off a hydrogen and reform one of the lone pairs of electrons. However, it still fulfills the criteria as described earlier. Great job identifying Lewis acids and bases. Make sure you follow up this video with practice and you'll see Lewis acid base reactions appear everywhere in your studies.